made it to the end of a week again almost. Tomorrow, which is the end of the week, is Friday, um, October 23rd. It's Game 3 of the World Series. I'm David B. and Cooley. We're doing Best TV Tomorrow. I already told you what Best TV Tomorrow was. Game 3 of the World Series. I'm trying to wear enough Rocky and Boyinkle hats to cover each day. We'll see if I have enough. But this particular hat, the Mr. Peabody hat, I wore to New York at the ceremony where Fresh Air, the National Public Radio show I'm, I'm involved with, uh, got a Peabody. And some people among the Fresh Air staff were delighted that I wore the hat. Others, not so much. But the head of the Peabody Committee at the time, Horace Newcomb, came walking up to me and said, where did you get that hat? And I said, well, you're Mr. Peabody. So I gave him the hat off my head. I realize that's not the usual phrase, but that's what I gave him. The voices of Rocky and Bullwinkle, as well as a host of other characters, belong to June Foray and Bill Scott. But why didn't you tell me before? I didn't think you'd believe me. I don't, but it sure helps the plot. <laughs> People are talking to each other and saying, what you, I'm a brain surgeon, I'm an attorney, I'm a, a public relations man, I'm Bullwinkle Moose. You're Bullwinkle Moose! My God! That's what happens. I, I grew run? up with you. I grew up with you. And that's what happens. Why wouldn't you be proud to say that? <laughs> He's Mr. Peabody. E. Sherman, and if the way back could talk, it would tell you that it's uh, the way back. This man, this, this dog, this beagle, <laughs> is really is really a kind of a Clifton Webb. Very clipped in his speech, and everything very forward in the mouth. And so that's where the Mr. Peabody voice came from. Bullwinkle, of course, would be my favorite. I guess in large part because that's kind of the character that I would really like to be like. Somebody who says outrageous things, you know, just react like this, you will. But it's so dumb, you really can't take him, you know, you really can't take umbrage at what he says or what he does. Because after all, he's a moose. What do you expect from a moose? And just where do we find Moon Man? On the moon. Or? Or in spaceships, or... Yeah. Funny how that works out. This is WBCN Boston. And now, as part of our All Brahms program, here's Heaven's on Fire, featuring Kiss. Yes, and this is from the latest Kiss album, Animalize! <laughs> on WBCN. On WBCN! That's what he said. Ha, ha, ha!